you're probably dealing with neighbors stomping on the ceiling saying, stop practicing, stop practicing. Not everybody has the luxury of, you know, owning a home or having a lot of space, and especially in a quiet neighborhood. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite practice mute. And that's the Artino, this cute little thing. It's a rubber practice mute that we'll, we'll talk about the pros and some of the cons. There are various practice mutes that are on the market. And I wanna be clear that a practice mute is not a regular orchestral mute. Even though an orchestral mute does mute the sound, it doesn't mute the sound as much. So if you're in a situation where you're um, in an apartment building or you have a lot of neighbors around you, then it may be worth investing in a practice mute. The reason why I like the Artino practice mute is that it's a very affordable price and as well as made of rubber. A lot of other practice mutes on the market are made of brass or metal and that could actually damage the varnish on your instrument and even chip away some of the wood if it accidentally falls off. So I've had this little guy for years and and uh, it's it's been a lifesaver in some situations. Like if I'm in uh, backstage in, in a green room, you know, for an orchestra concert and uh, I just wanna make sure that I'm not being too loud with my sound, then I would use this practice mood, I would stick it on my bridge, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, and the sound is actually uh, reduced significantly. Another thing I like about this Artino practice mute is that it comes with this plastic case, and uh, I've had this, again, this case for years, this is what it looks like inside, and normally it would come with like an Artino practice mute logo, and it comes with like a little paper you, that you could slide it on, but you know, I threw that out like many, many years ago. <laughs> I use this uh, this little plastic case in my violin case as well. So that way it doesn't damage any of the rosins that I have like the leather with the spoke or the other, you know, other accessory that I have as well. Let's talk about some of the differences between the sound volume and the difference in the sound volume from an orchestral mute to a practice mute. Let's see the comparison. So there's obviously a clear difference in the orchestral mute and also the practice mute. The difference is night and day. So the, you know, the practice mute, this one right over here, not this one, this one, is a, again designed for you to play uh, with, the, with a smaller, lesser volume than the orchestral mute. But the orchestral mute is designed for you to actually get a little bit more tone quality out of your instrument. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of strings you have. And also, so that way your ears don't um, have these, this very weird sound. And I think that's the downside with this Artino practice mute uh, when it comes to the actual sound. If you have very sensitive ears, then you may have a hard time practicing with the Artino practice mute because of, because there's no like core to the sound, the, vi the violin, you're pretty much cutting off a lot of the vibrations coming from the bridge into the wood. So having an Artino practice mute, even though it does help you get a lesser volume, so that way your neighbors are not like bugging you at night or during the day when you have to get things done and you have to practice, obviously. I do recommend this for various times. I don't recommend practicing with a practice mute every single day because that will affect the, your, your intonation and the vibrations of the instrument and you won't, if you're, if you're practice enough with an Artino practice mute, then you're just, it, it just, it's just a different feeling and it's a different kind of vibrations that you're, that you're getting in your ears. And if you're curious on the strings that I'm playing on, uh, I am playing on the tricolor uh, gut strings that Joshua Heifetz used to play. Uh, stick around uh, on the channel because I'm gonna be doing a full review in the coming weeks regarding those strings. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. I do a lot of violin content on the channel and product reviews such as this one to help you become a better violinist. So let me know your thoughts. Did you hear a big difference? What kind of sound struck out to you when comparing the Artino, uh, Artino practice mute and the orchestral 
mute. I want to get this conversation going. Leave your comments down below. And also be sure to check out my other violin videos that I've uploaded on the channel. You can go right over here. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.